I've been a printmaker now for um, about 35, 36 years full time. And my wife and I, Laura, have produced together um, etchings, dry points, aquatints made from copper plates, um, etc. And we've sold them around the country, every state almost, at the art shows. And that's how we made a living. We've got galleries, but mainly the work is sold at art, at, um, art shows around the country. The subject are mainly European landscapes, architectural mainly. I still I do a lot of American stuff, but predominantly European landscapes. Very much in the Rembrandt Whistler tradition. Dry point is um, I work directly onto a plate with a needle. Don't use any acid or anything, but I just I, I inscribe the, the drawing onto the plate and you get a very rich line with it. Well, I was right in the middle of the season when I'm talking very, very busy. And then one day I was pulling the proof and the press made an awful noise. And I realized the bearings had just fallen apart. I was actually standing next to Michael when the press disintegrated and things were apparently, you know, things were really wrong fast. And as he said, we were in the middle of our summer season, which is the three months where we literally make our income. Now, I'm stuck here and uh, I'm thinking, what am I going to do? I mean, I'm gonna, this is not easy to transport, it's quite heavy. And I was in a bit of a panic, but in the end, I think my wife suggested we look in the yellow pages, I think it was. And um, the first place I called was um, Wiseways. I inquired whether they would take my press to California. And transpired that they actually didn't go to where I wanted it to go. But they agreed to go out of the way. It was a, at least 100 mile out of the way and deliver it. So we... Um, we actually had the pallet when the press when the press originally came, so we set it up on the on the pallet, and um, they, they told us how to do it. We used straps and all sorts of tape and everything to get it onto the pallet, and then I took it into to the company, and they they further packaged it a little bit better, and um, I left it with them. Put <laughs> out the door, loaded it up, and I remember being really. Uh, reluctant to just leave, and it, but it was shipped out, and it was delivered almost in two days. The etching company fixed it, and I had the press back in River Falls within two weeks, which I thought was amazing because I thought I was going to have to buy a new press. It takes so long. As uh, Michael said, it turned out two weeks turnaround out to California, back fixed, perfect. And we're back on the road. I would have no hesitation in recommending or using it myself.